Okay, welcome to Algebra 2, Semester 1, Unit 4, Section 4.7b. I apologize if my paper looks a little bit dirty in this video. I just shot the entire lesson without the video running. So, I had to erase it all. Okay, change from standard form. Standard form is plus or minus a x squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form is uh, plus or minus a parentheses x minus h parentheses close plus k. I've taught you how to convert from vertex and intercept to standard. This is our last lesson. We're just converting from standard to vertex. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to use completing the square. It's really pretty simple method. Just watch what we're doing, if the completing the square seems too tough, go back to the completing square video uh, in 4.7, just before this, and um, watch that one. Again, study it. So we have y plus something equals x squared minus 10x plus something plus that 22. So what we've done is we've put a blank in there to complete this as a square. Now, if you think about the tiles, we'd be splitting them into 5 and 5. So 5 times 5 would be 25. Take that middle term, cut it in half, and square it. Now, to write our factor of this, it is simply the first term, the sine of the middle term, and the last term, uh, the roots of those, and then we square it. Plus 22 equals y plus 25. Now we subtract 25 from each side because we're trying to get y alone. And we get y equals x minus 5 squared minus 3. And that is our vertex form. Next one. y plus something equals x squared minus 8x plus something plus 17. Now we ask ourselves, what's half of 8 squared? 16. 16 over here as well. This trinomial factor would be x minus 4 squared. Take the root of the first, the root of the last, the sine of the middle, and then square it. Now we subtract 16 from each side to get that y alone. And we have y equals x minus 4 squared plus 1. Vertex form. Next one. At this point, I'd suggest you pause the video and do this one alone and then turn it back on and see if you did it right. We have y plus blank equals x squared plus 6x plus blank plus 3. Half of 6 is 3, squared is 9. So we add 9 to each side. Now the root or the factor form of that perfect trinomial would be x plus 3 squared. We still have a plus 3 out there y plus 9. Subtract 9 from each side to get rid of the 9 by the y. So we have y alone. x plus 3 squared. And then 3 minus 9 is negative 6. You only have one more to do. Try and do this one on your own. Pause the video. Try it again. We have y plus blank equals x squared minus 4x plus blank minus 4. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we add 4 to each side. y plus 4. Now our whole goal in doing that was to get that trinomial. Don't cancel those two out, even though it looks funny there. So we have x minus square root of 4 is 2 minus 4. 
Now we subtract 4 from each side because we're trying to get the y alone. We get y equals x minus 2 squared. Negative 4 and a negative 4 would be a negative 8. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see you in class tomorrow.